There is a place where history, faith, and nature collide in ways that will leave you speechless. A place on earth that echoes through time, rising from the mountains in Catalonia, like a century sculpted by the hands of nature itself. On this episode of Barcelona Special, we journey beyond the city. Last time, we marvel at the brilliance of Gaudí's La Sagrada Familia. But today, we're ascending to a monastery that keeps attracting travelers for centuries around the world. This is Montserrat. We are today in one of the most underrated places on Earth. Welcome to Montserrat. Okay, so we are at the bus station, guys. Uh, we're gonna take uh, the bus, it's a tour. We booked the tour with uh, City Express, and it's an old tour. They're gonna take you on the train. We will go to Montserrat. Yeah, we're very excited to see. Our group is about 20 people, 20 to 30 people. It's a nice group, let me show you. It's a sunny day, so we're very lucky because it's been a little bit chilly in the morning. My beautiful mother-in-law is right here. <laughs> We're waiting for Monica. As soon as we left Barcelona, the adventure began. Our bus ride was full of amazing history and facts about Barcelona, thanks to our guide. By the time we reached Montserrat, we were speechless, admiring the contrast between the raw, untouched mountain and this sacred architecture. The view was breathtaking. This is our first stop, guys. We are just uh, coming down from the um, from the bus. The drop was right here at the bottom of Montserrat. Yes, yeah, so it took us um, almost an hour to come here, and now we're getting the train. Actually, it's kind of like, like a tram, yeah. kind of, to go on top of the monastery. We are in the beautiful Montserrat. You can already see the nice view behind of us. It's it's amazing. It's Let breathtaking. It's beautiful. Look how beautiful it looks, guys. So you can see all the mountains on top. Look how beautiful it is breathtaking. And the tour guide was telling us while we were coming in the bus that uh, those mountains are 2 million years old. Yeah, and that's the result of the two tectonic plates that collided together. And this is the reason <laughs> of uh, Montserrat. So Correct. we're very excited. Uh, once we take the other train, we're going up. Uh, it's uh, 700 meters up. And yeah, we're ex really, really excited to show you how it looks. Yay! They have this old train here, guys. Well, this is the way they used to go up before in Montserrat. Look at this. Such an amazing beauty, all machine. I love the way they keep it. It looks really, really nice. <laughs> Let me go and see the other one. So this is the first rail uh, train that they have in the past. No, you cannot, we cannot get go it. Inside. <laughs> you cannot. Uh, I look. was very curious to see it. How it looks no, like actually, that. it looks uh, pretty. Uh, oh my god. Not sure if you can see, but there is like a, a carpet inside, guys. And yeah, very fancy. Hmm, people in the past were fancy it nowadays. Fancy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are on the train to go on the monastery. It's going to be 15 minutes right. And yeah, we're super excited. You can already see the nice view from here. If you want to see a better view, then we just turn the camera this high. Just kidding, guys. What's telling us that um, people who are not afraid of you should sit on the left side. So if you're coming next time, you know that on the left side, going up, you're gonna have the best view. We're gonna sit on the camera right here in the window, so you guys can enjoy the entire view. Uh, you 
can go there today, maybe. Maybe. To really shop bookstore also. Okay, very nice, interesting books about the history of Mozart and so. And this one, guys, is Abad Oliva. He was the founder of the monastery in Montserrat. It's a very peculiar statue, but they have a nice, the water comes in on the, on the side. Not sure if you can see it, but it looks amazing. The monastery here was once destroyed by Napoleon's army, yet it rose from the ashes to become a symbol of Catalan identity. This is the original state of Rome that he used to have in Montserrat. It's a combination of clay, clay right here, and the rock sediment right there. This is the entrance to the Basilica, guys. Look at this. It's just breathtaking the views. I, I can't explain how beautiful it is. So this is the entrance of the Basilic here, Montserrat, guys. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've been to only one monastery before. You could not compare two totally different things, but so far this has been the highlight of my Barcelona trip. I definitely recommend this to everybody who comes in Barcelona. A lot of people don't know or haven't heard about this place because not too many... When you come to Barcelona, you come for Barcelona. But it's definitely a should do, especially if you have uh, time to do it. Yeah, come to Montserrat, you will never be disappointed. It's, it's breathtaking, everything. Montserrat is not just a mountain, it's a holy place with centuries of history. The Black Madonna is now the centerpiece of Montserrat Basilica, drawing pilgrims from around the world. So on the way here I stopped to buy this very famous cheese, it's very local. Uh, the, our tour guide, she recommended for us to try this together with honey on top. So I got one for Luis and I want him to try. So this is called Mato, Mato de Montserrat. And this is basically cheese with honey on the top. Uh, I want to show you the texture, look how good it looks. It's cottage cheese. <laughs> mm. What do you think? It's so good, you know why it's so light? Yeah. Cheese doesn't taste like cheese. It, uh, I wish I could explain. Imagine like 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 cream cheese, but on flavor, right? But then with the honey, make the contrast. It's so good. It's a unique taste. I never tried it before. I never experienced it before. How much do you pay for this? Uh, only two euros, if I'm not mistaken. Guys, it's so good. <laughs> And they have different sizes. I just took the small one so we could try it. So they make that here, guys. It's really, really good. I don't think this journey ends here. On the next episode, we're exploring another wonder of this amazing city made by the mind of a genius, Park Guell. It's a place where imagination becomes reality. But for now, we leave Montserrat behind. Until next time, this is it for today and ciao for now.